So hi hello everyone today we'll be talking about different type of clouds and what to learn what not to learn how these are different and whether if you are having an experience or if you have a learning of gcp whether you can give the interviews for aws whether you can give the interviews for azure or not because my concept is very different how i look through the things and also i have 5 plus years or around 5 5 years of experience in data engineering and i am a senior data engineer so i think so i have worked across all the clouds so i think so i am a good person to guide you so let Let's start with the video, and uh, I am also a DataBricks certified, so I will be also telling you the advantages. We'll be uh, uh, like uh, comparing Google Cloud, Azure, AWS, and DataBricks. We'll be comparing all the threes. What are the basic things? How the exposure looks like, so that you have a basic idea about the things. So let's start with the video. As you can see on the screen here. So basically, as you can see here, basically there uh, there are I, I have uh, like just started these all cloud. That is uh, uh, Google Cloud. then uh, microsoft azure then databricks and then aws so we'll be comparing sequentially we'll be uh, taking databricks at the last so that you can uh, like take an idea ki basically get an idea basically how databricks is different what is azure what is aws why databricks is not called cloud so we'll be talking about that at the last so let's start with the video okay so let's discuss about the first one that is google cloud platform that is very very famous and uh, like people say that google cloud doesn't have uh, so much of uh, exposure also but we'll be talking about because i have uh, dedicated 3 years of experience on google cloud so i think so google cloud is a great a great platform and it has great services uh, regarding right now it has Uh, good support of gemini also so yes it is a great platform to work with so basically let's give you uh, on a data engineering point of view let me give you a overview of what all things what all cloud or what all uh, basic differences and what are the major things so uh, the major ones that we talk about in data engineering that is first one a warehouse okay warehouse what is a warehouse in google cloud we have big query okay we talk about the big query that is a google uh, like gcp google cloud platform data warehouse that is serverless it is highly scalable it is serverless and highly scalable data warehouse also it is fully managed and pay per engine that is the best part of this particular uh, like cloud concept is depending on the pay per this thing how much services do you do you use on that basis only you have to pay so that is uh, first thing that is serverless that is very very important to understand serverless like uh, more data is coming in automatically it can scale up and uh, horizontally and vertically both so no need to worry about that thing next thing it is fully managed you don't need to worry about anything already it is managed by google only so no need to worry about that thing it can handle massive amount of data like massive means terabytes and terabytes of data petabytes of data can be uh, like queried in seconds directly because that is a concept of data warehouse how a data warehouse works okay that is a main concept of a data warehouse so let's understand that also so the uh, that that is That, that was these things and it is idly it is idle for work any type of analytics if you want to do analytics analytics any type of analytics if you are thinking of google cloud platform gcp google cloud platform uh, big query is the idle platform to do that that is very very important to understand next thing let's talk about next thing that is our data flow data flow is also very very famous data flow i'll write the name data flow data flow gcp's data flow is very very famous and it is a managed stream and uh, like uh, it is it depends on apache beam firstly and it is managed and it's for it is a managed service of managed service i am telling you in a very technical way so that in interviews also if you are going so it is very much interview focused all video also so if you are going for interviews at that point also you can explain the things in that manner so data flow is a uh, is a service of gcp google cloud platform that is a managed service that is basically for a uh, stream or a batch processing if you want to do a stream or batch processing so that particular engine is available it is a engine that helps you to do stream or batch processing next thing is basically it is useful for etl jobs if you want to design some etl jobs etl jobs if you want to define that can be done on data flow gcp data flow and especially if you are not using spark if you are not using spark directly you can design your etls there that is the best advantage of using this one that is the gcp's uh, data flow next thing is composer composer is something that is you might have heard very very famous tools are there that is apache airflow so apache it is it uh, it is an orchestration tool similarly composer is very very famous GCP Composer is very very famous for orchestration. It is a orchestration tool, and it is GCP's managed Airflow. 
it is a gcp's managed apache airflow it is managed by gcp you don't need to worry about anything it is a managed service of gcp that depends on apache airflow like uh, it is based on apache airflow so it looks similar it uh, like if uh, you can do the all kind of things that you do on apache airflow because under underneath it is using uh, apache airflow only you okay? don't need to worry about that and similarly as there is a service called as data proc ठीक है दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन अपाचे स्पार्क तो सिमिलर इट इज अमिलर थिंग ठीक है सो बेजरली इट इज यूज फॉर ऑर्केस्ट्रेशन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड सम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मैनेज योर डैग्स ठीक है ऑल काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स यू कैन डू ऑन क्लाउड कंपोजर सो नो नीट टू वरी अबाउट दैट थिंग एंड देर इज वन मोर वेरी वेरी फेमस देर आर मेनी सर्विसेज ऑफ जी सी पी देर आर मेनी सर्विसेज ऑफ गूगल क्लाउड प्लेटफॉर्म बट यू डोंट नीड टू लर्न एवरी थिंग टू स्टार्ट विद यू नीड टू लर्न द बेसिक मेजर थिंग्स ओनली so if you are going for data engineering these are tools that you can go through and also gcs that is google cloud storage if you want to store any kind of data you can store it here so very very important cloud functions are also there cloud function if you want to uh, like make some triggers if you want to uh, set a pipeline that it should be uh, triggered at a certain time when a file is uploaded that kind of things you can design and automate on cloud functions theek okay? hai so these things are very very important this was about google cloud let's talk about the next thing that is our next one that is our this one that is apache uh, microsoft azure there are many limitations also we will be not talking about limitation just giving you uh, idea of the thing so that you have an idea ki basically how the things look like and what are the major differences or what are the similarities which cloud to learn okay so next one is microsoft azure very 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 famous and great support on you will be seeing this on many platforms many many uh, every major enterprises which are working they will be using microsoft azure only because a good support is there a uh, wide wide range of things are there so no need to worry about that thing Microsoft Azure. Microsoft Azure is very very famous, and it is like uh, basically it is a like the one tool that is very very famous, the most famous one. That is A D F. Azure Data Factory. It is very very famous in different different things. Also, you will be seeing because it is a visual ETL tool for orchestrating your pipeline. It is a visual ETL tool for orchestrating your pipelines. Next thing you can drag and drop on the interface. It is a low code platform. low code platform we call it as because you can drag and drop the things and make your etls like your pipelines drag drop karke you can just make your etl pipelines theek okay? hai you can make your etl pipelines using adf as your data factory and you can connect about 90 plus data sources if you want to connect different sort of different source uh, data sources sftp uske baad fir streaming data source or big query any kind of data source if you want to connect you can connect via this particular thing next thing we talk about the data warehouse data warehouse of microsoft cloud the uh, microsoft azure that is our which one synapse analytics synapse analytics very very famous and very great platform to work basically it is a combined dws data warehouse uh, where it is a spark based big data platform where you can define like it is a combined dws that is we call it as data warehouse theek okay? hai just assume it like that if you are watching if you are not don't know the details of the thing no need to worry about that thing when you will be learning everything from scratch you will be learning everything and if you want to learn about data engineering from the scratch from the zero we have uh, we have a end to end data uh, x boot camp that is this one i'll just showcase you the things so that you have an idea of the things that is data x so basically it is a end to end data engineering uh, this thing job ready data engineering boot camp where you can learn it is just for 3499 previously it was for 7000 rupees we have dropped the price for uh, 2349 and you will get a exclusive coupon code also in the description you can use that coupon code and directly get enrolled into this we have about 17 18 modules right now and 100 plus hours of video content is already there that you can just complete it out and we have live sessions also on the weekend directly you can just tap on this register today and directly use the coupon code in the description and directly you can just enroll here and uh, you, uh, to know about me you can follow me on instagram we have different different kind of socials directly go and you can see from there and if you want to know the details of the platform already we have a video in the here attached in this one you can just get the details of the things what all things we are, are there and what all things are there to just to understand about the boot camp how the boot camp looks like and how you will get the access to it how you will be learning the things everything is there in the 
description so let's talk about this one that is uh, like this one that we were talking microsoft azure next one is very very famous that is microsoft data bricks azure data bricks we call it as microsoft azure data bricks i'll just write the spelling like this uh, what is this what is this what is this data bricks It is a dedicated service of uh, Microsoft Azure where you can directly deploy there and directly it will be linked to your ADLS that is Azure Data Lake uh, Storage that is also called as Blob. Blob is also your storage uh, like object storage where you can store any type of values, any type of store uh, like files you can just go and store it there. That is the advantage of using Azure Blob. Next thing your Azure Databricks. Azure Databricks is a first party ingestion tool. All the Databricks features that are present, we will be talking about Databricks also right now in detail so that you can understand how it is like preferred and many people who are, are going to work on databricks they prefer microsoft azure only because there is a dedicated platform there is a dedicated tool already service already available of databricks so there is no connectivity problems also so people use that thing okay next thing it is a uh, like basically if you want to this thing let's talk about the next cloud that is very very famous that is called as aws azure web services aws is very very important and very very famous why it is famous let's talk about that also azure uh, aws and how it is different and then i'll come to uh, come to key what to learn and what to do okay so that you have a clear idea about the things and you can decide by yourself so aws that is azure web services it is called as web services it is one of the most uh, like uh, most popular uh, this thing most popular cloud service and it is very very famous and it holds the maximum share in the market of the cloud if you are if you are going to work or if you are working in the cloud space you might be knowing about aws that is azure web services but it doesn't mean the uh, uh, not azure web services amazon web services okay so it doesn't mean ki basically uh, uh, other uh, two clouds or other other clouds apart from aws doesn't have demand all the clouds have demand all the clouds are very similar how it is similar because in aws also we have a data warehouse called as redshift similar kind of uh, this thing environment is there of data warehouse that is called as redshift where you can do columnar data warehouse uh, 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 like storages you can do uh, optimized high speed analytics is there you need uh, like if you need more you can use uh, like uh, you, you you can use bigquery also if you uh, that requirement is there other than that if you want to query something like uh, on top of s3 s3 is a like service of uh, aws that is called as object storage like similar like blob similar like a G gcs google cloud storage it is s3 here in amazon s3 we call it as so basically in s3 if you want to query something okay directly there is a service called as athena athena aws athena athena is something that is serverless query on top of s3 if you want to do and using the standard sql you can do using aws athena that is the advantage of using it other than that it is good for ad hoc if you want to do some ad hoc you know ki ha this are data parquet files i have stored now i want to just query on top of this directly you can do on the data exploration like directly ad hoc basis pe kar sakte ho that is the advantage of it other than that you there are much more services like ad, uh, azure uh, uh, AWS Glue is there. AWS Glue is the like we talked about AWS, Azure ADF. Similarly, here it is Glue. Okay, AWS Glue. AWS Glue is a serverless ETL engine that is based on Apache Spark. Okay, it is a ETL engine like to design your ETL jobs and all that is called as that is based on Apache Spark. So distributed systems, if you want to do distributed uh, like pipelines, if you want to build big data pipelines directly, you can build it here. That supports it. And if you want, if you are building some ETL jobs via spark or python shell directly you can use aws glue no need to worry about that thing third thing is basically that is emr emr you might have heard about that is if you want to use your apache spark clusters okay to process your big data uh, big, big big data okay big data ko process karne ke liye files you need some uh, computes okay uh, computes or engines we call it as so basically that can be deployed or managed by uh, 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 aws amazon uh, aws that is amazon web services that the service is called as elastic map reduce that is called as emr elastic map reduce okay it is used for if you want to process some large scale pipelines large scale pipelines means large scale 
ठीक है लार्ज स्केल पाइपलाइन लार्ज स्केल बैच प्रोसेसिंग इफ यू आर डूइंग तो डायरेक्टली यू कैन डू दैट अदर दैन दैट स्टफ स्टेप फंक्शन आर दे लैमडा फंक्शन आर दे अदर मेनी थिंग्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस ठीक है सो जस्ट टू गिव एन आइडिया यू कैन लर्न एनी टाइप ऑफ क्लाउड ऑल द क्लाउड जस्ट हैव डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ नेम्स बट सर्विसज आर वेरी सिमिलर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्लेटफॉर्म्स आर देर बट सर्विसज आर वेरी सिमिलर यू कैन लर्न एनी ऑफ द क्लाउड एंड इन माई बूट कैम्प ऑल्सो आई फोकस ऑन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्लाउड डिजन आई एम नॉट फोकस ऑन ओनली ऑन वन क्लाउड दैट ओनली एजो डेटा ब्रिक्स यू लर्न और ओनली जी जी पी यू लर्न ओनली एडब्ल्यू एस यू लर्न वी आर एक्सप्लोरिंग एंड वी हैव एक्सप्लोर्ड ऑल टाइप ऑफ क्लाउड एंड डेटा ब्रिक्स इज वन ऑफ द मेजर प्लेटफॉर्म दैट वी आर एक्सप्लोरिंग दैट इज अ मॉडर्न टेक्स टैक that we are coming to right now that is databricks databricks is one of the platform that is basically it is not a cloud firstly okay databricks is not a cloud it is a saas platform what is saas software as a service software as a service means it is a software as a service it is a platform it is not a cloud it is a platform on which any kind of storage can be linked and directly you can uh, leverage the functionalities of the databricks what are the functionalities it is a open source it is a open source for uh, like data it support delta lake delta lake what is delta lake delta lake means in data warehouse you can only store uh, store uh, like columnar storage or structured data in data lakes you can only store what type of data any type of data but you cannot query on top of this there is no asset properties but on delta lake on delta lake you can build your lake house platform and data bricks is dependent any type of table if you make on data bricks it is by default in delta format that is called as lake house format theek hai lake house so it is very these uh, terms are very famous and very much in modern tech stack if you are learning from my book camp uh, if you are learning about data engineering you will be learning these things these are the basics of data engineering you will be learning about these things it is a modern tech stack in which right now if you go for interviews these things are uh, asked because i also take interviews i also ask too many things about this only lake house data bricks delta tables warehouses all all sort of those things so that is the advantage of using the data bricks that is because it is not just a platform it, it is not just a cloud it is not just a, a tool it is a proper platform okay which gives you different type of functionalities like auto loader if you want to do some streaming jobs and auto loader is there directly you can use that you have delta lake okay you have delta lake uh, uh, like support directly any type of table you are making directly it is there then there are workflows if you want to build your etl pipelines and all ingestion jobs if you want to define you can do there and very very famous that is unity catalog the only most famous because of this only companies are not shifting to data bricks because they are having governance governance unity catalogs if you the governance centralized governance second centralized security of the things like it is a central a central governance system for managing permission lineage data discovery if you want to do all sort of things can be managed via unity catalog so this was all the details about things i talked about too many things but this is the just a brief just a exposure of just to give you uh, you guys the exposure about the things because i have experience about these things only so i can talk about these things and for hours and hours but this was all about the video thank you so much for watching this if you want to learn about data engineering data x is there data x boot camp is there in the description link is there and support number i have also given if you have any doubt reach out on that support number on the whatsapp group and directly you will get all the things uh, up uh, your doubt sorted thank you so much